President Biden taking action today to reduce prices at the pump, a small decrease over the last week. This is just the start of what the administration hopes will be a significant decline in prices. And our Alyssa Donovan has more now from Irving Park. Right now, gas prices downtown Chicago are about a dollar higher than they were at this time last year. Many drivers we talked to today say they've had to make significant changes just to get by, and they're happy to hear there's some relief coming soon. It's a lot of money. For Uber and Lyft driver Angel Melgar, the price of gas has been a major challenge. I mean, put like $65 uh, a day. Two years ago, put like $25, $20, so it's, now it's ridiculous price in the gasoline. I feel as though I'm being gouged. While some have no choice but to get behind the wheel, others have taken to using their cars less often. Actually, sometimes I take public transit, so that's kind of how I offset it a little bit. Gas prices have started to drop in the last week, but in Illinois, the average price for a gallon of gas is still nearly 40 cents higher than just a month ago. That's according to AAA. Today, President Biden announced actions that will lead to a more noticeable decrease when you pay at the pump. The Department of Energy will release another 15 million barrels from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. The 15 million barrels will be delivered in December and are part of the 180 million the president promised to release earlier this year. President Biden also announced oil purchased to refill the reserve will be bought at around $70 a barrel, giving the industry confidence and helping incentivize more production. The administration expects drivers will notice a change at the pump very quickly. This is killing me. When President Biden announced the release of reserve barrels back in March, there were 98 days straight of gas price decline. His administration says they're hoping for something similar in the coming weeks. Reporting in Irving Park, Alyssa Donovan, WGN News.